In this video, we'll be going over best time to buy and sell stock too. Say you have an array of prices for the i elements is the price of a given stock on day i. Design an algorithm to find the maximum profit. You may complete as many transactions as you like. Buy one and sell one share of stock multiple times. You may not engage in multiple transactions at the same time. So you must sell the stock before you buy again. So in our first example, we will we're giving a prices array 7, 1, 5, 3, 6, and 4. The first transaction we'll make is 1 and 5, which will gain a profit of 4. And the next transaction is 3 and 6, which will gain a profit of 3. So 4 plus 3, and we get 7. So let's go over the dark process. So we are allowed to perform as many transactions as possible. But we are only allowed to buy. Um, we are only allowed to sell the stock before we buy again. This means we should buy a stock in all of the valleys, in all of the valleys, and sell the stock in its adjacent peak. So a valley can be, in this case, we have a value of one because we have a larger value here and then we have a smaller value. So this, and then there's another larger value here. So our valley is at, is at, is at the lower point. And then when we want to sell, we want to sell at the next peak. The next peak is at five. So we want to buy at one and sell at five. Basically buying at a valley and selling at its adjacent peak. Same thing for this with this is a valley because the two elements on the side are larger values. So this is a valley and then we're going to buy and then we're going to sell at six, which is its adjacent peak. We will be keeping track of our current index I. Then we will first search for a valley. Then we will search for its adjacent peak then the profits we can gain is peak minus value let's go over a pseudocode so create two variables i is the current index and profit the maximum profit we can gain and then we're going to perform a loop while i is not out of bound, that means we still have stocks to process. We're going to first find a value. While i is not at the last index, and the prices at the next index is less than or equal to the current price. That means we have yet to find a value. So we're going to increment i. After we find the valley, we're going to create a variable. Valley and set it to the current index. Now we're going to search for a peak. While i is not at the last index. And prices. And the next price is greater. It's greater than or equal to the current index or the current price that means we have yet to find the peak yet then we're going to increment i after this loop completes that means we have found the peak so we're going to increment profit by the current price which is the peak minus the value that is saved before and then we're going to increment i to move to the next position and then we're going to return profit now let's go over the time and space complexity For the time complexity is O of n, where n is the length of the input array. Visit each index once. And our space complexity is equal to O of 1. Now let's go over the code. So we're going to create two variables, keeping track of a current index and also our profit. Then we're going to perform our loop. Now we're going to find our value first. If i is not equal to 
prices dot length minus one that means yi is not at the last index and the and the next price is currently less than or equal to the current price we, we will continue to search forward and then we're going to and i'm going to save our valley which is our current price now i'm going to find our peak Then we're going to increment our profit by the by the difference between the current peak and the valley. Price is i the current peak minus the valley that I saved before, and then we're going to increment i post increment, and then we're going to turn profits. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.